This is the radio for the EOC. The one for the neighborhood is kept in this same location. What I want you to notice is the battery and the radio have blue tape on them. Mm -hmm. Okay, And one of those antennas has blue tape. The reason it's important is because the radios are different frequencies and the antennae are tuned to those frequencies. Okay. Good. So Good. blue radio, blue antenna. Right there. Blue, blue. Blue, blue. So there is another one of this tripod that's a different color that goes with this antenna? Exactly, and it's just exactly the same except it has a green stripe here. Okay. All right. So this is going to go on there. And who's got another pipe? I have another one. Red? Right there. Well, that's a good idea, Jim. Because I'll forget. Thank yep, just stick it on there. Yeah, okay, and then we'll just oh, pop it on. Wait, 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 wait. Your cord is still attached. Okay. 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 Uh, better unwrap the cord, we won't be able to reach okay. it. <laughs> just go. pull the zip tie there. Or the... So, it's not too hard to hold, but if you were worried about it, you could just tilt the whole thing over, assemble them, oh, two people could tilt it, it up. Yeah, okay. And we have sandbags to put on there. The problem is they're really heavy. I can barely move them. Mm -hmm. So I haven't found it necessary, but in a strong wind, wind. maybe mm -hmm. it would be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or a battery. AC power or battery. Yeah. And power's off, remember. Power's off. But the, the house has a battery. And 31. Oh, I'm just talking about when there's a disaster. In the event right. of no. a disaster. Gun. Right. Powers off. All right, so we plug in the uh, antenna. Who, who else has said they needed to learn about this stuff? Well, I haven't yeah. done it yet. Oh, well, yeah. come right over here, my dear. <laughs> Take this and screw it onto that. Sorry. So just push it in. So pull this back. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there we go. Good. Okay. And that's the one or only port you could attach it to. That, that's the only place awesome. it'll fit. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have to push really hard you know, on any of the others. Okay, mic's already attached. Battery. So, if we, were, we can use the battery or we can use the power adapter. So, if we're going to use the battery, whichever we're going to use plugs into here. So, okay. these are the same. Yeah. So, this is going to. Only goes one way. Right? Only goes one way, yeah. All right, and red and black, red and black. Nice. Okay. Color coded. It's mm. great if you're not colorblind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be a problem, I, think red I guess. And black are pretty easy. For They're pretty that easy, are yeah. Colorblind. Yeah. And most guys who are colorblind, I think, are red green colorblind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This should be ready to go. Yeah. I don't remember how, how I make it go now. Maybe turn it on. You haven't yielded it yet. There we go. All right, so it's push on. I think one of them is twist and the other is push. And does anybody remember what our channel is for our team? She just emailed 29. us. 29, all right. Yeah. So now, this is already preset to 29. It doesn't look like it's in there. I think it's just... Yeah, there we go. All right, so preset to 29. Uh, occasionally, they change the channels. At one point, it was 22, and at one yeah. point, it was 7. So uh, in that case, you might have to change the channel and you do it with the up and down arrows. Mm -hmm. So kind of like your handheld. All right, and if anybody was transmitting now, we ought to be able to hear them. So if anybody has a radio. Ooh, <laughs> this is a test? No, no. Nothing. Hmm. So I'm wondering if this needs to be reprogrammed. The way that our radios are set up, there's two things that matter to establish communication. One is you have to be on the right channel or frequency. But the other is that there's a code that's sent, which uh, sort of turns on the audio. Otherwise, you don't hear it. And your handhelds are pre-programmed with that code. And what I'm wondering is if maybe uh, Mark changed the code since he gave me this. Well, I'm glad we found this. This is uh, why we have tests, right? Yeah. All right, so everything's the same if you use the power adapter, except you don't go to a battery, you go to the mains. 
So we'll have to turn it back on again. Is that uh, is that hooked? Oh, in? here we go. Here we go. All right. So that's. Oh, I hear something. Hey. Oh, All right. I can hear you. All right. Maybe there's something up with the. Bag. I hear you. Go, go ahead and talk. 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 This is Charlotte. Team Central. All right. Okay, and finish it up by something like over. Roger. Roger. <laughs> Okay, this is Ricky, not Roger. <laughs> okay, can everybody hear me fine? Power input's the same. It is the same, yeah. Over. Here we go. We got the radio. Someone handed it. We're going to turn it on. Yeah. Channel mode. So we turn it on. And then um, we're on channel 29, mm -hmm. which is good. Mm -hmm. And then you change it here, like with these up and down arrows. So there's 28. Okay. So we'll go back up to 29. Two, nine. Okay. Transmit is right here. It says PTT, push okay. to talk. Oh, awesome. That's all you have to Test, know. test, test. And you can see the um, in the upper left-hand corner, you can see the transmit uh, symbol right there. See uh -huh. right there, the antenna and the Correct. bars. Press over. Okay. And that's it. And then we just turn it off so we'll since we're done with our test. Out. So this is a little rig that I use, and on here there's a uh, a pull cord to secure the radio, and this plugs right into here, like that. I'm, I'm not going to do it though because I've only got two hands. So the radio is in this pouch here. It has the extended battery on it. In here, I have some uh, emergency shears on a tether, kind of like the one I've got on the radio. This is a uh, tourniquet, a cat tourniquet for emergencies. This here is a, a hook knife. There's a hook knife right here, so if you need to cut a seatbelt or something, you can use the hook for that. And then this is in case you need to get into a car. Of course, you can only do this if you have permission, but in an emergency, if you're trying to get out of a vehicle or in, then that's something to consider. This is the scissors for first aid. Inside here is a pouch. And inside here, I've got the normal regular radio battery. I've got a right in the rain pen, a uh, crayon for ch like a special construction crayon in case we have to write if we're searching. In extra radio equipment like a microphone and uh, earpieces, that type of thing. In here I have some batteries for a flashlight with uh, dates on them when they expire and I like to use the uh, ultimate lithium so they don't disintegrate. There's a flashlight down in here right there and this is a um, just a little jackknife and that's about it and you can wear this rig on you if you want just a optional thing and it's on you, and then you have your backpack and a helmet, if desired, to use in addition, should you so choose. And the backpack has more supplies, and this is just a light rig. Very lightweight. Again, just an optional item.